Hello, everybody. My name is Kara Brown. I am an urban fantasy author, and I'm also the executive assistant over at Ripperverse. And today we are going to take a look at my current Notion board. You may notice I talk about Notion quite a great deal on this uh, on this particular channel because it usually is the thing that keeps my life together. But quick housekeeping, I'm not affiliate. I'm not an ambassador, no sponsorship, no nothing. I just really like this application. And uh, I wanted to show you kind of how it looks right now in case you are working with Notion and you're looking for things to kind of help keep you on task and, you know, keep laser focus on the things that you need to get done during the day. One thing that I have found, no matter what planning system I use, is it tends to change uh, pretty every, about every three months. That's the joke I used to have. Like, I went and set up this entire system and then it won't be the same in three months. And for the most part, I have been using Notion... I want to say pretty religiously since the end of January and uh, it although the layout has changed the fact that I'm still using it has not changed so we're going to go ahead and dive into that today. Now there's a couple boards in here that I'm not going to really be able to like fully dive into because it either has um, you know NDA information with my job or it might have uh, addresses related to my family and I don't want to dox my family so uh, when I get to those boards I'm just going to let you know it's got some sensitive information in there so I'm not going to really be able to share it and we'll kind of progress on from there but Let's go ahead and change from my face to the screen and we'll go from there. So as you can tell, this is the screen, right? Um, this is the, the basically the, the command center, my sanity keeper. This is the one page that I go to for pretty much everything that has to do with my life. If you were here for my task automation, this is going to look a little similar to that layout, but I did make a couple of changes and I do want to show you guys um, kind of how I have things organized here. So... First thing that you're going to see outside of this wonderful GIF um, that kind of reminds me to be like water uh, is you're going to see this thing. It's called the drop zone right here. And the drop zone is when a random task comes my way that I need to get done, but I haven't really been able to do it. And uh, what I'll do is I'll fill it out right here and I'll put in the energy and the priority and the due date and then that will go wherever it needs to go. So let me show you guys what that looks like. All right. So I went ahead and I filled that out. Um, with uh, what the task was, the due date, and along with the energy level that's with it. Um, one thing I will say is uh, the way that I have the energy and the priority set up is that if uh, if it is a low energy task, so it's really easy for me to do, and it's a high priority task, then both of those things are going to be green, which means that that should be the thing that I need to do. When it's a low priority but high energy, then maybe I should put that off until later or reconsider putting it off completely. So. Uh, I talk about that a little bit more in the task automation, so you're welcome to review that video at your leisure. But when I put it for the due date for today, it showed up here. And the way that I have this filtering system showed up is that it will only show whatever items are for this particular day. Same thing with these other three blocks over here. And I do that because when I am working in this particular database, I only want to focus on the things that I need to be kind of mindful of right now. When I have to go dive into other things like long-term things and that's when I can start to scroll down and take a look at these current pending projects that I have in the works or review my week that I have going on right now. And um, this uh, particular widget that you are seeing, this is a Google, uh, a Google Calendar widget and I get it from a, a third party that basically just takes whatever my Google Calendar is and, and puts it on here. You can get it for a day, you can get it for a month, you can do whatever you want. But um, I live primarily out of Notion and out of Google, so that's uh, why I have it worked up that way. And it's honestly, it's been it's been so good. I really can't say enough nice things about it. But well, let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, four boxes that you guys see right down here. So uh, miscellaneous get this done task, right? So I got to make the video. So once I get that done, I'm going to click this box and then that will completely disappear. I'll show you guys. So it's gone, right? Ta-da, poof. Um, right here where it says projects, those are going to be generated based off of whatever I have currently active that's down here right now. So as you can tell, I have a couple pending uh, creative works in progress. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five author projects. I've got one work project that's in the works, so all the stuff that's got to go into the work project. Uh, and then there's a couple other things. I actually completed the Muscle Mommy Fitness Challenge, and I am leaving that still as active because I want to show you guys how I work with the projects. And then starting tomorrow, I've got my Chun-Li challenge. That's a lot of running, cardio, all that kind of stuff that's going on there. And what you're seeing here where it says transfer memberships, that's actually part of my move, uh, my Dallas move. So for if you guys aren't aware, I'm in the middle of moving to Dallas. In fact, hopefully I will be there uh, within uh, by the first week of September. So um, kind of playing that by year. But now on this other one right here, it says reoccurring. These are just the, you know, the daily kind of things I have to get done, things I like to do. So for example... I like to read and I like to make sure I walk outside, weather permitting, whenever I can. 
And then I put in like some BS stuff in here. Like I have to tease my friend at some point today uh, just because it's funny for me. And then I also have my social media uh, stuff that I have going on now. Um, Instagram uh, self promo. That's basically to remind me that I need to go out and somehow, you know, promote my work. It's it's one thing when I tell you guys that I write books, um, but I need to like show you guys that the books are actually out there in the world right now. Right. Uh, my current campaign is actually involving um, the the 78 tarot cards that were illustrated for my book called Caro's Tarot. So that's what I'm kind of promoting uh, well, for the next 78 weeks, so probably end of the year, right? Um, but as soon as I get done with that, and I've already done it for the day, um, what I will do is, because this is a weekly task, is I will come in here and I will change the due date from the 6th to the 13th, and then I'm not going to see it again until the 13th. I cannot even begin to tell you how wonderful it feels to just not have to constantly rewrite the same thing over and over. Um, and then... This one, chores, I mean, it's chores, you know, things I need to do around the house, like mop the floor, clean, you know, uh, ceiling fan, stuff like that. And I used to do this in a bullet journal where I'd have like little dots next to all the things that I would do. And at first I was like, this is nice. And after a while, I was like, this is really tedious and not interesting. I just want to go do the things when they need to get done. So that is why it's set up like that. Um, so what will happen is I will open up my dashboard. I will come straight here and just kind of get to work. And then the other thing that's going on right here is uh, my morning routine is actually all kind of um, hidden in these toggles right here. So for my morning routine, uh, I'm going to work out in the morning. That's my key habit that I love to do. If I don't work out in the morning, the rest of my day just goes down the drain. Um, I do track my weight because I'm in the middle of trying to get to 130 pounds. I am not quite there yet, but um, I find that tracking my weight every day kind of reminds me to keep working towards it rather than giving myself like forgiveness room, I think as we like to call it. So I have that set up and then I have my journal that's in here. So, uh, and then these are all actually tied to other databases, um, that are in these bottom categories down here. And that's one thing that you can do in notion. You can basically set stuff up. So that way it's going to be, um, attached to other databases that you have. Now, some of these things I do purposely track because I need to give them to my doctor and other things I track just because I want to see overall progress or I just want to have mindfulness. That's what the journal is for. Um, and then today's workout is just going to remind me to do whatever workout that I have today. Now I'm taking today off because the first day of Chun-Li challenge is actually pretty brutal. So I thought I would just let my muscles relax on that. Uh, and it's pretty much the same thing for night routine and gaming life. Usually at night I'll record whatever food I ate, do another journal entry and, and call it that. So let's go ahead and actually talk about the calendar that I have set up now. I have always struggled with calendar spreads um, because I don't use them. I really just don't use them. I, I find them to not be very helpful whatsoever. And what I like to do is I like to basically use these um, these monthly slots. I like to use them as, um, you know, kind of like my monthly goals that I want to work on. And so when we take a look, it's going to look a little bit like this. I've got, um, again, that widget that I have down here. I have another one that's just a monthly view of my calendar. I know this says September, um, but we're looking at August. I moved it forward just because I have some um, sensitive information on there. I didn't really want to publicly share with all of you, so I appreciate your understanding. Um, but all of the things that I have that um, are time consuming, I have them on here. So for example, I've got morning meetings at work. I've got two more meetings on the following Tuesday. Uh, there are things that I usually like to do in, uh, with my friends on here. and. At this moment, um, it's a little um, it's a little sparse just because, again, we're not in September, so I haven't filled it out with all the dates that we're going to do. I unfortunately have a reminder of the anniversary of when one of my friends passed away because I don't really want to forget that. So that's a memorial thing for me. But if you saw that and you were wondering, that's why. Um, but on this side here, these are going to be all of my goals that I have going on. So like stuff that I want to do for romance, you know, do I want to go on dates or stuff like that? Uh, you know, a uh, friend hanging out. I don't know if you guys have realized it, but sometimes when I get into like mission and work mode, I, I'm, I'm pretty bad about staying in touch with my friends. So I make it a point to at least make sure that they're a priority. So uh, I have a group of crafting friends and we like to get together and do what's called stitch and bitch. So we'll get together and we'll work on our stitch crafts and bitch about things. And um, I have another group of friends who um, we're all kind of entrepreneurs, but we'll come together and we'll work for two hours on our separate projects so, so, just so we can hang out. Uh, and then I want to publish one short story. I haven't put what short story that is going to be right now. I probably need to remind myself to do that. Um, let's do that right now. Do, do, do. Uh, pick 
Uh, short story. Alright, yeah, I definitely want to figure that out because it's probably going to take me all of August to get that story together. Okay, so, and that's just how easy you can do that. Uh, and mental health, that usually has to do with, like, things that I do for my own self-care. I'm going to keep that closed because, again, private stuff in there. This is the Chen Li challenge. Uh, these are things that I'm trying to be. Actually, uh, I have hit 150 today, so or 145, apologies. I have hit 145 today, so I'm technically ahead of schedule because these were the uh, the due dates that I gave myself for these things. And then, you know, little lots of little arbitrary things. And you can actually give yourself on these dates that you see right here, you can put like little reminders on here if you really want to. So um, one day before the 25th, it's going to shoot me a message being like, hey, are you this weight today? And I'll be like, probably, probably not. We'll see. Uh, friend watches, that involves like movie and anime night. And then education are things that I would like to do in order to work on um, my self-learning. There's nothing here right now. Um, I promise as soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to go find at least two books to read and one Skillshare class because that's kind of where I am in my life right now. Keep author finances update. Um, so what I like to do is every Sunday is I go through all the money that I have made from my various places. So Redbubble, Kindle, Later Press, all that. Like I'll accumulate all that data because I have to go give it to the lawyer or not the lawyer. Sorry, I have to give it to the accountant. So that just makes it easier if I do it once a week. And then I just have a reminder that shows up um, right here in this corner where it says updates. It's going to be in here and it's going to remind me that I need to do that. I have another one in there about sending out cards, as you can tell. So this card is actually already done. I just need to put it in the mail. So I haven't done that, but I will as soon as we're done. And then reflections, you know, what went well this month, what didn't go well. I, I just answer all those questions at the end of the month. Obviously, we're not there. So but I just untoggle it, write in my answer, retoggle it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and then under that, I have, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen like that pixels in a year spread that happens in bullet journals, but I've always really liked it. And I wanted to find a way to still kind of use that in um, Notion. And this was how I found a way to do it. So I track, I, I kind of redundantly track my mood. I, I track it in two places, but I've got a little bit of a mood tracker here. I've got how many hours I slept, my quality of sleep, like how did I feel? I haven't filled this out obviously for today, but I'm just letting you know. Uh, water intake, which is spelled wrong, but that's okay. We're all flawed in some shape or form. Um, how much reading I do, words written. I actually wrote some good words today, um, but I'll do that. Uh, and then my booze intake. Um, I actually, you know, with the exception of these last couple of days, um, I really haven't been drinking a lot, but I usually like to track how much I've been drinking because if the drinking starts impacting my mood, I like to see like that correlation in a visible way. And if you, and you can just do things like I could just move this up like right here and see if there is like some kind of like, you know, rippling effect right there, but I'll just put that right back down there. Uh, and then the amount of caffeine, I've only had one cup, so it's blue. I've had no sugar. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be drinking today. And then uh, what you guys are seeing down here, uh, you know, health and fitness, mental health, spiritual and all that kind of stuff that has to do with a concept that's referred to as the level 10 life. And the way that that works is it requires you to look at various aspects of your life. Now, I know some individuals will only focus on six, some focus on 10. There were 10 categories in level 10 life. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm working with at least 10 categories because I don't know about you guys, but I like having a fulfilling life and I like making sure that I've got some kind of balance between everything that's going on. And this has honestly really helped me out like so much. All right. And how this works is um, these bar graphs, I made them in Canva. Uh, again, not affiliate, not sponsored. Nobody gives me money from Canva. But if you wanted to, I am totally all ears. But uh, I made these images in Canva and it's just how I currently feel about where I am in these particular categories. So we take a look i feel like i'm doing pretty well with friends and family i'm trying to hang out i'm trying to send texts i'm trying to do movie nights with friends all that finances giving back not my very best i would definitely like to see a little bit of growth there um going forward uh, and i try to keep things kind of realistic for what I, for where i am right now so for example i want to make five dollars off of my works right now last last month like last month it was a dollar i just wanted to make a dollar last month and i did so i wanted to try and make five dollars this coming month so we'll see how that goes uh, the buyer weekly. Yeah. So these are all pretty much like just things that I want to make sure that I'm doing at some point. Uh, and then giving back. So there's a writing group I like to go and volunteer my time with. Uh, you know, I provide them like some uh, a light editing service for their work and I get to socialize a little bit. 
when I move to Texas, I do want to find a, a food kitchen to go and, and do donate, you know, donate my time to. This is actually already done because I'm moving. Uh, but, you know, and those are just things. So as you get these these objectives complete, then you can come in here and you can mark them done. And I do want to focus on saying that these are objectives. Like these are things that when they're done, you should be able to um, check them off. And one really good example of um, how I would encourage you to do it and then how I didn't do it, right? Because that's, that's exactly what's going on. Um, so make $5 a month. So the moment I make $5, this, this thing is complete and I can mark it off as done, right? But then I have right here, like, date once a week. Well, then I think the better thing to do would be to write this to, uh, again, something that you can check off as done. So uh, one thing, I want to go on a hike with my husband, right? So go go on hike with husband. So, um, and so that way when we go on the hike, it's going to be done. It's not like weekly dates or stuff like that. It's just got to be one thing that when you hit that benchmark and it's done, you check it off, you move on. So, uh do as I encourage, not as I uh, badly educate there. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much what I do with the monthlies. Um, it's it's just the big goal, the goal area. So now let's go get to the the meat of this meat and potatoes, and let me tell you guys about these things down here. One thing I do want to point out um, before I dive into these projects, because when I show you this first one, it's gonna look pretty on the computer, but I tell you, it looks fugly on my phone is everything that I have set up here is it's actually set up to be for my cell phone first. This may look nice on the screen and everything, but normally what happens is when I wake up in the morning, I grab my phone after I go for my morning walk and see what needs to get done for the day. And uh, the way Notion works is it will basically look at everything from left to right and then go down accordingly. So I have drop zone at the very top just because if I have to put a task in there, I can just whip it up on my phone, type it, and move on, right? Uh, and the big reason I have the morning and night routine and toggles is because if I need to get down to my to-do list for the day, I don't want to have to swim through all these images and widgets that are in here. So that's why I have it kind of collapsed like that. Now, I'm telling you that because when you go into my uh, career and education area, that's not a thing. Um, this is obviously made for my PC screen first, and it's not made for my phone. So what will happen is I will log in, I will see these graphics right here, and then I will have a very long line of emojis of my coworkers right here. So, and it looks again really cute on the screen, but it does not do what I need it to do on my phone. So it's a lot of thumb scrolling. But um, here in career and education, it pretty much encompasses everything that is involved with that area, um, everything that involves my work, including my work at Riververse and any of my own side projects. So I've got like two podcasts I have in the works. Uh, Twin Raving Critique is the main one. I'm working on another one with a friend. It's called Three Second Edit, and we're kind of in the works of figuring out the uh, the finer details of that. Uh, and then I include things on here like um, when ISO number two launched, I was having to travel to Dallas at that time, so I had all my travel details in one easy to find place there. And yeah, so uh, I've got my finance section again for all that money tracking I do. I've got a social media hub for me tracking all of the social media that I do, the messages that I type, X, Y, Z. And then I also have a, a client dashboard. Uh, I do take clients for developmental editing, but not at this moment because I'm in the middle of a move right now. But when I am working with clients, I have like one particular area um, in Notion where I just work with them and talk to them and schedule all their lessons and talk about their project benchmarks and stuff like that. But yeah, so that's all I got going on in there. Uh, the notes are pretty much notes for any meeting that I go to. Definitely can't click on that because NDA. Uh, health and fitness, that's really, I mean, it's just my health and fitness area. I've got a clinic for all my doctor medical stuff that goes in here. I've got the big database for my weight loss tracker just because, again, I weigh myself every day. I want to keep track of it. Uh, the place for my food diary. I've got some widgets in here to help me convert things from uh, centimeters to kilograms and all that stuff. And then uh, here is a list of all the databases of various workouts that I can do. And then this is the giant planner uh, that I follow for it. So that one is, uh, I would love to dive into a lot more of this with you, but again, medical information is a little private. Um, weight loss is really nothing remarkable to talk about. Um, I do know that this workout uh, template that you see right here is actually a template. You should be able to uh, do a quick Google and find it if that's something that you want to implement. 
Uh, friends and family, that one I'm not going to click on, but the way I have it set up is actually I've got um, cards in there, and on the cards I track every time I either contact one of my family members, so if I send them a card, if I give them a phone call, did I give them an important text message, stuff like that, just so that way it's in an easy-to-find place for me. And in some cases, I have to take pictures of, of text messages because, you know, maybe something will happen, my phone will break or whatever, and I'm like, I can't lose this particular message, so I'm just going to save it. Uh, fun and games, uh, not, well, I was about to say not much to report here, except, um, this is pretty much where I just track all the stuff when, if it involves me playing games, mostly I've just been playing Tears of the Kingdom and, uh, Octopath Traveler 2 right now on top of Final Fantasy 14, but, uh, let's see, I've got another section in here, it's called Media Intake, and I still need to update these banners, so I apologize. But this is pretty much where I record all the media that I digest. And the reason I want to do that is because I work in entertainment technically, right? Like I work for a comic book publishing company. And we do a lot of commentary in regards to what book publishers and the movie, TV industry are all doing, right? And one of the things that happens when you work in that industry is that you kind of work in comparison. So when you're talking about a show, it's like, oh, it's like this show that married this show. And if you don't know either of those shows, then you're not going to understand. So in order to kind of track my my media intake and encourage myself to do more, um, I made this um, I made this uh, this tracker. And it's definitely helped me with um, tracking, like actually going to movies and stuff like that. Books I never had a problem with. TV shows I'm really struggling with. If you guys know a really good TV show um, and you think that's something I need to watch, please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. I will add it to the to watch. And right here at the top, these are just like the top tens of of whatever it is that I have read so far in the year of 2023. Uh, I have not had top 10 movies so far. These are just the ones that I've really liked. The same thing with the shows. I really like Spy Family. I really like Goblin Slayer, but I haven't really liked any of these other things to the point where I would say it's a it's a five star experience. Let's see. <laughs> and then after that, um, you know, these are just like little trackers for um, the other games that I play. So I've got one big tracker for Stardew Valley because I will put Stardew Valley down for like months at a time and then I'll get like sucked into it for like three weeks and I always forget where I am. So that's what that's for. Uh, same thing with Sunhaven. It's pretty much Stardew Valley, but like with more fluid graphics. It's it's fun. Um, granted, I spend a lot of time finding bugs that are in the game right now and just recording what they are and where they are. After that, spiritual, that's just really me through my catechism study, so I don't really want to dive too deep into that. And then finance, again, that's private. The The finance here actually has to do with both my author stuff and my household stuff, so I'll just keep that to myself. Um, romance and home, actually I'm okay with sharing. So let's go ahead and I'll show you guys a little bit of what that looks like. So, um, this is anything that pertains to the house whatsoever. Um, I've got a place for date ideas that I would like to do with my husband. So I'll just kind of like think of one, I'll go throw it in there. And then, you know, when it comes time to go out for dates, I'll like throw out some recommendations and see what he wants to do. In the new house, because I do have a house and I am buying, not renting. Um, I already know what renovations I want to do to a couple of the rooms. So, and here is the big um, renovation database where uh, I focus on the tasks that I want to do. And then once we get landed, I'm going to have to like do uh, cost analysis and see how much everything is going to cost. But I'm not quite there yet. I'm just kind of in that percolating brain stage of figuring out what I want to do and what that's going to look like. Uh, home tasks. If so if you guys remember on that top board um, where I had um, chores and that first thing that you saw was mop floor, right? Um, this is where you're going to find the whole list of stuff that has to get done with the house. And now I'm a little ashamed because I see all this stuff is overdue right now. Oh dear. No, I did this. Oh, I must have forgotten to click on these. That's what happened. Okay. Well, the way that this works is that it's going to tell you the last time that you did it. And if it's overdue, now in my case, these are overdue. So I'm going to have to come back in and fix it. And then it will also say if the thing is done. Now in this other column where it says do next, it's going to let you know when the next time that you need to do it is. So clean the shower. I cleaned. Uh, I actually put this off as on the 28th because um, I cleaned the shower already, but I didn't want it to tell me to do it in the middle of the move. So I just pushed it off. Uh, wiped down bathroom walls. and did that on the 28th. So the next time is going to be on the 28th, which is funny because that's what I just did there. Um, 
And then the frequency, like how often do you have to do? Is it monthly, weekly, biweekly, daily? And then what rooms does it pertain to? Now, I don't have that all that fun stuff on the main page, obviously. I just says mop floors, right? But if you are the kind of person who likes to have all those details present, you can definitely put that in there. So, I mean, however you'd like to do that. Uh, pet things. I've got two dogs. So all my vet visits, all the bills, all the prescriptions that they give me, I take a photo of and I put it in pet things in case we need to um, find it later. Same thing with vehicle info, house info, all the important paperwork that pertains to the houses in here, um, including the new house that we're moving to. Uh, chores is actually a duplication of home tasks. I was trying to do something else with this particular um, database and it didn't work out very well. So, but we're here now. All right, so the last thing that I want to show you guys is I actually want to show you right here where it says active projects because this is honestly where a lot of the bread and butter of my entire system comes from. So if you take a look right here where it says active projects, these are all the projects that are currently in the process of being completed, right? That's what active project means. Good job, Carol. But um, you can also see on here that there are little progress bars on here, which indicates like where I am in the process of getting that done, right? So the Dallas move, I'm 22% into Kitsune Kisses. I'm 6% into because there's a lot. Double Trouble, it's a short story. Nah, I got 33% of that because I finished the script, but I haven't done anything else with it. Ten of Brownies, uh, that's an arduous project. We'll be here for a while. Bad Seeds, I haven't fully filled out that to-do list. That's, again, on my agenda to do today. And same thing with Blood in the Rain. Um, now, I do have this one that says Muscle Mommy July. This is 100% done but it's not marked off as complete because I have to go in here and actually mark it off as complete. Now, that's where I could go and do that, but I wanted to show you guys what the project block looked like. So this is what it looks like overall. Um, so we have, or I have, and then again, this is, oh, actually we're not doing that. So let me uh, go ahead and cancel that, delete, okay. Um, so these are all the things that I have going on at work right now, or when I say at work, okay, you're gonna have to edit this. I'm sorry, editing Carol. So these are all the things that I have either in the works or things that I'm currently working on at the moment. So these are the things under Carol Brown that I'm trying to work on right now. Um, no, we're going to delete that cause that's not working. Uh, and then same thing with uh, Faye Black. Uh, oh, that's actually the story I could probably get out. Uh, and then, so obviously, if you guys don't know, Faye Black is like short story, romance, erotica. So that's why all those titles are that way. And then, uh, let's see, Reckless Raven is a side project that I'm currently working on for myself. I haven't gotten very far with that yet because obviously I have other priorities. Uh, and I tried originally to section these off uh, like the level 10 life that I have on the rest of my board. But I think because everything fell under different categories in a certain kind of way, it was really difficult for me to do that. I'm, I'm going to come back and visit this idea later. But these are all um, to do. They're not being worked on right now. What's being active right now is actually this stuff that's down here, right? So I told you earlier that Muscle Mommy, right, like that's done. I can actually technically move that over here and just be completely done with it. If for some reason I was looking at, uh, let's see, like if I didn't want to work on Bad Seeds right now, I could probably take Bad Seeds and drag it right back up into here and be like, today's not the day, right? And if I go back to the main board, because again, these are all uh, synced widgets, those things are gone at this point, right? And if you're the kind of person that wants to work on projects, but you don't want to get overwhelmed by them, that's actually a pretty good way to, to do that. Now, one thing that, um, so when you, one thing I want to point out is there's these progress bars, right? So let's go ahead and go back into projects and wait for it to populate. So with here with Muth Muscle Mommy July, that percentage was based off of the amount of tasks that I had to get done, right? So this was the status. So I came in here and what I really did was I made uh, six workouts, right? And then I just duplicated them. So don't don't think I came in here and did this like for 31 times. That's insane. But I came in here and I just set it up. So as everything went from being from like done to not or not done to done, then it would check it off. Now I'll show you guys. If I go ahead and check that to not done, immediately took that percentage down to 78, right? So if that's something that appeals to you, you can do that. If you're like, that's just way too much and that overwhelms me and I can't even think about it, then, you know, don't don't bother with it. It's all good. 
But uh, when I'm working with really big projects like that, I like to break it down into um, tasks that I can get done on a weekly and daily basis. I will always say that that's just something that makes it possible for me to feel progress and stay on task. And that's what I do. That's that's pretty much it. Now, um, if you're asking, like, is there an overarching place where you can see everything that you have to get done? The answer to that is yes. It's right here in tasks. And uh, it will show you every task that you have to get done during the course of uh, whatever day. So July was really busy for me because I was trying to do a lot of things in July before, um, you know, I was having to really focus on the move. And so these were just the, the amount of things that I had to get done every day. And, you know, um, when you kind of see it in... Uh, in the overview of the day, like here, it's not too overwhelming. But if you look at it on the calendar, I'm always like, oh, my goodness, I can't do that. Uh, the final section I'll show you guys here is going to be it's called notes. And this is honestly just where I put like my grocery list at. So if I have to go get like eggs or something, um, I'll put the entire list on here and leave it up on my phone and just take it off as I go. Or if I hear a note that I want to remember, um, I'll come in here and I'll do, I'll diction the note in here to record it and then I'll come back to it later. Uh, the only thing I haven't shown you guys is my mental health stuff and that's, uh, I think, I, yeah, I can show you guys. I don't have anything incriminating in there. Um, I make a point to try and journal twice a day. I journal once in the morning for morning pages and I do it again at night before bed just because it really helps me focus on the awareness of what that all looks like. And sometimes, as you guys can see on my calendar, it gets done and sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on what's going on. But uh, when I notice, like, you know, especially when it's two days in a row that I haven't journaled, I usually have to, like, back it up and ask what's going on and why am I not journaling and I need to make time for it and all of that. And the way that I have my journal prompts, and I'll show you guys, is I have two main journal prompts. Uh, there's morning pages. And the morning pages is just a template that I created. Uh, I put the song of the day that I wanted to kind of vibe with that morning right here. You can just copy a link of it from like Spotify or YouTube or wherever and just put it in there. And then morning pages, it's just again a toggle down. So I'll just come in here and write whatever I'm thinking or speak into my phone that morning. I find speaking diction to be way better for that. And then daily chores, things I have to do around the house, uh, other chores that I would like to get done around the house. And then uh, all that fun morning gratitude stuff that folks like to talk about, I get that done there. And then the final one uh, that I do at the end of the day is populating very slowly, excessively slowly. Oh, my goodness. So, and then the night one looks a lot like this. Uh, tell me about your day. So I write about the day. Uh, I write about what I feel, what I was grateful for, the highlight of my day, to what I accomplished that day. And I really do like doing this like little prompt fill out thing because it really makes me kind of focus on like those better things. Uh, I sh sometimes I want to put one on here that's like, you know, how can I be better tomorrow? But I'm not I'm not quite ready for that self-reality break. And then self-care, like things I do to just take care of myself. And then the uh, pixel in a year thing that you guys saw on the calendar, I have it linked in here so I can just fill it out at the end of every day and move on from there. And then I have another pixel mood tracker that I'm just kind of playing with right now. Um, so far, it's just tired and overwhelmed and stressed, but, you know, I've just got some stuff going on right now. But, yeah, and then that just pretty much stays in here. And uh, I honestly really like this. I think I've been doing this for... I've been doing this for a while. Um, yeah. At least... Yeah, I've been doing this for at least seven months by the looks of it. So that's good. It's just not populating these other things right now. Oh man. Okay. So that is the board. So that is my notion board. I know there is a lot going on in there and in some ways it makes a lot of sense to my brain because I made it right. And that's one of the things that kind of happens with notion is that when you make it, you really make it just for you. And when other people try to come in and look at it, that gets kind of like, Bleh. but I hope you liked it. I hope you uh, maybe want to take something away from it. I find the reoccurring prompt system to be highly effective for me because it's very low friction. I change a date and it pops up when I need to do it again kind of thing. And uh, I think I've actually stuck with this probably the longest of all my planning uh, systems so far, which really says a lot for me. Now, the board has obviously kind of moved around in the way that things get done, right? But the the big takeaway for me is that, and probably the one thing that I really like about Notion is because it's so fluid, because you can change it 
when things in your life change, you can change Notion to adapt to your life, right? Like that's the big thing that's really good about it. But I would be happy to hear your input and your thoughts and opinions on it. If you happen to have a Notion tour uh, on your channel, please let me know. Just tell me you've got one. Uh, tell me what the video title is in a comment section down below and I will go and find it. I'd say link it in the comment section, but YouTube always flags those. So it's just, ugh, I'm so rude, seriously. But yeah, curious about your thoughts and your take. And, you know, if it's something that you want to adopt, if you do, let me know. I would definitely be interested to watch your Notion journey. It's definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off. If you guys do not remember, I do write books and I sell books. And you can find links to those down below. I also sell merchandise. You can find a link to that below as well. And I'm going to go ahead and get to editing this video. So I will see you guys real soon. Bye.